For this video, I want to show you a couple different ways to access help in eQuest. So we can see we have our general eQuest layout here. We're in building shell. So the most obvious way is just to click the help button. And there's a couple different things we can help with. Um, the most interesting one and most important one that you use most of the time is the uh, Do2 help. So if we click there, there's lots of different things. One of my favorite things um, here that's really important when we're setting up a building, if we go into the topics and the airside system types, this gives you a really good overview of all the system types um, in eQuest. So um, the first is just um, single zone with subzone reheat, and then there's something else, um, there's all, all other system types, and what's nice is it always gives you a drawing too in these system types. So this eQuest help is actually um, very complete and very well done. Um, unlike a lot of other help systems. We'll look at another system type, the package variable volume system. You can see um, it's another schematic picture of what that would look like. So um, it's really important to get your system type right so that way you can uh, identify all the parameters. So that's one thing you want to look for. So you can just go in the help and look at all these topics. One other really cool thing about um, eQuest is let's say you're jumping around, let's just say for example you're your airside um, HVAC and you have this system and you're looking at the properties and you're like hmm, okay, let's go into cooling um, and the unitary capacity, what is this cooling electric input ratio? And you want to know, that, well one thing you can do is scroll over to see what eQuest says about it, it's just a user input and value um, so that doesn't give us much information, but the other thing that's really cool is you can right click and so there's item help, which will give you the exact help of this. There's topic help, which will give you lots of different things, um, so you can see what's going on there. The tutorials and reference will always give you some different files um, to look up. But I think the most useful thing is item help, because it's exactly what you're looking at help with. So the exact cooling EIR gives you what's going on. And this is simply just one over the COP, or the coefficient of performance. So it's very helpful this help to see what's going on. So this can be one thing that that will be really helpful um, while you're modeling. Is that way you can see exactly what you're looking at and what that number should be um, and the help for it. So that completes this video.